In this video, I'm covering an endurance flight I did with my FPV flying wing and see for how long and far I can fly it. It has a 1.35 meter wingspan with an olive weight of 1.6 kilogram, including the homemade 4S 9600 mAh lithium ion battery. As you notice, the platform has a launch and land structure underneath the airframe to simplify and neutralize a hand launch compared to a side toss and protect the motor and airframe at touchdown. The interference and form drag added by this component doesn't come near to the advantages I have of safety and simplicity, so I just stick with that modification. It has the FR Sky X8R receiver and a 600 milliwatt video transmitter to receive and transmit at at least 3.5 km distances. The GPS, being a Baytian BN180, is connected to the Maytek F411 WTE flight controller running INAF 6.1.1. So the aircraft is armed. I'm gonna raise my throttle, pick it up, and throw it in the air. Effortless. Let's get in the car and uh, enjoy the endurance flight. So after launch, I activated Return to Home to take the time to be comfortable in the car with a music box and snacks on the side. There were 7 to 14 km per hour winds during the whole flight, which is about wind scale 2, and the weather condition would then be called moderate. So here I was trying to figure out what my transmitter signal reach would be from within the car before failsafe. The ground station with the 5.8GHz standard receiver was set up outside next to the car. From here I started tracking asphalt roadways within the range I'd get from within the car which is quite enjoyable to do so.
closing in on an hour of flight time, I averaged my cruise throttle to be roughly 3.75 amps, which is quite good in normal flying conditions. At that point, I got out of the car too to see what my radio reach would be from outside the car. At the 80th minute mark, I took a break from flying and let the aircraft fly itself for a period of time. This is also because I knew the aircraft maintained throttle and altitude a lot better than me which is in favor of the total flight efficiency numbers after flight. When I reached 2 hours of flight time, I stepped out the car and went for a celebratory flyby. And at about 2 hours and 9 minutes, I came in to land the aircraft to an abrupt stop by the duct tape to asphalt contact.
I was quite pleased with a total of over 80 kilometers in trip distance under 100 milliamp hours per kilometer and with 7,971 milliamp hours over a time span of 2 hours and 9 minutes shows its average cruise throttle to be 3.7 amps which I'm quite glad about too. One day I'll try the endurance flight again but without the ESC restrictions and calmer weather to meet its edge of staying airborne. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.